do another epic tutorial. This is volume three. And as you can see, I found my glasses. I'm gonna tell you something cool that I'm gonna do if I reach if I reach a hundred subscribers. I'm going to, if you guys like this, if if you guys can get me to a hundred subscribers, then I'm going to I will I will talk in a British accent for an entire week. And I'll do a little video thing showing how it turned out, videoing me at different places, talking in a British accent. A whole week. Blah. But if you can get me to 100 subscribers, that's what I'm going to do. Today's tutorial is actually something I've been finding out a lot about lately, which is um, I've been, I just joined, joined the Tumblr community. In order to converse on the Tumblr community, you have to know how to speak fangirl. If you have any friends who are fangirls, if you have any enemies who are fangirls, if you have anyone who is a fangirl, in order to converse, they have their own language. The things that I've discovered, number one, is that crying is a good thing. Don't ever, don't ever go up to a fangirl and say, I'm so sorry, you're crying. No, 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 no. Crying is the best thing ever, okay? That's, what, that's, that's, you just have to, believe me, just believe me, crying, good. Number two is the compact complex. Fangirls seem to have this, need this, this urge to compact every single thing. Oh, hello, wasp. To compact every single thing, I think he wants to be in my video, into as short a uh, expression as possible. Some examples are feels. Short for feelings, but it does not exactly mean feelings. It has a slightly different meaning. It means that moment in a movie or a book or a, when, when something the character does is so adorable or emotional or any of that kind of thing. Feels, yes. Perf, adorbs, aw, aws, for perfect, adorable, and awesome, and I could go on forever. But, but we here at the investigative board of fangirls have this decided is that probably the reason for this is that fangirls have no life, literally, and so that they therefore feel the need to make it seem like they're busy and don't have time to write out the whole thing so they do abbreviations. That's, that's our working theory. Anyway, number three. Uh, no, number three doesn't make any sense. Number four in how to speak fangirl is the phrase can't even. This is a highly important phrase to understand if you were trying to converse with a fangirl. What it literally means is that the fangirl speaking has lost the ability to express the amazingness of whomever or whatever she is talking about generally, her fandom TV show or character within the TV show or book, um, and or that she's lost the ability to uh, do anything. Uh, live, breathe, eat, pump blood, um, yes. This can last for, this can imply that this condition is going to last for any extended period or indefinitely. Number five. If you want to get a fangirl to like you, okay, this is the number one thing to know. Especially if you're a boy, trying to get your fangirl to like you. You've got an eye on this girl. She likes Star Trek and all that. Get her fandom references. Study up on what fandom she likes. And then listen closely to everything she says and pick up where she'll slip in little lines from her favorite characters, favorite shows. Kind of like a Captain America moment. I understood that reference. In fact, if you pick up on her fandom reference and then respond to it with, I understood that reference, and then she gets your reference back, you've made a friend for life, my friend. But before you embark on this venture of getting a fangirl to like you, I might warn you uh, that, well, uh, fangirls, once they like you, they are the most they're the most loyal, loving, tenacious. They'll just love you. They'll just embrace you until your ribs are cracking and you can't really breathe. But they're loyal. They stay with you with relentless, relentless enthusiasm. So, just know that. They're great. They're great people. They really are. Um, yeah. So that is all how to speak fangirl. You're welcome for this tutorial. And uh, yeah.
In case you're wondering, I actually, there's no way I could have remembered all this stuff by myself. So I made myself, I actually was looking at this whole time, this nifty little uh, chart that I made on this piece of stuff. See? All you need to know to speak fangirl. And uh, in case you need to refer back to this information, I actually have a blog post on it, about it, at theepicplace.com. Um, you need to, for all your fangirl relational needs. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to get everybody that you can to subscribe because British accent for a week. Yeah. Have an epic day. Signing out. Whatever.